If you're a viewer of my vlog channel or if you've just been watching me for a little while, this shirt might look very familiar to you. And that is because it is my boyfriend's shirt. My sweet, sweet angel boyfriend Drew is one of the cutest people ever. He has the cutest style. And so I thought it would be fun to take his style or his wardrobe, grab a few pieces and style them into outfits that I would personally wear. You know, we're in month 11, going on 12 of quarantine over here. So content ideas are running low, but also just things to do with my life are running low. So I thought this would be a fun little experiment. You know, I've done videos similar to this before. A few months back, Drew and I did a video where we tried on gender neutral clothes. I've also done videos where I wore his clothes for a week. I've tried to style outfits out of just his clothes before. So I'm no stranger to this type of video format, but I thought it would be fun to actually take like a piece of his clothing and try to style an entire outfit around it. So sneak peek, you'll have to see what this ends up turning out like. This was actually a really fun, creative way to come up with new outfits. You know, you can do this with a family member, with a partner, whoever, and it can just be a fun little way to draw inspiration and like put something fresh and new into your wardrobe without actually having to buy new clothing. As you know, I've been trying to do a lot more videos where I dive into my own closet, but in this one, I'm gonna dive into my boyfriend's closet. So let's see how this goes. All right, so we're in the closet now. I am on Drew's side of the closet. And because we are very different sizes. Unfortunately, none of these are going to fit. Trust me, I just tried. There was a point in time where they fit, but they do not any longer, so we will keep moving. So it's gonna be just tops. What I'm trying to think of is like variations of different tops that I can use, like some t-shirts, he has some long sleeves, he has some sweaters, he has some button-ups, so maybe like one of each or something like that. So the first thing that's kind of grabbing my attention is this gray sweater. It's really nice. It looks really good on him. I think we thrifted it when we were in LA. And I feel like maybe doing some kind of skirt combo. I'm gonna try to take these basic tops, but style them into like very different outfits, if that makes sense. So since I can really only use his tops, I'm gonna take his pieces of clothing, but still make it into an outfit that feels like me and my style. So this is like kind of the first thing I'm going for. It's what I'm gravitating to. It's neutral. It's pretty easy to style with almost anything. And it's not too heavy. I'm, it's pretty hot today so I don't really want to wear anything that's like too intense. So we'll start with this one. It's pretty dang cute. I mean, it needs a little steam, but we're not going to do that today because we're too lazy. What I'm sort of picturing with this is like a schoolgirl-esque type of outfit. Bear with me. I have a couple different options here. The first one I'm thinking is this like plaid tennis skirt, but I'm kind of feeling like I want to save this for a future video where I try the dark academia aesthetic, but plus size. So let me know if you want to see that. So I'm sort of gravitating towards this. It's like a gingham checkered cute little skirt that came in a set with a matching top, but oh God. Oh no. If we paired these two together with like the right accessories, I think it could kind of be a moment. So I think this might be our first outfit. Okay, wait a second. I love this. Like not just saying this, not just trying to like put on a show for the video. Like I am genuinely obsessed with this. I would a hundred percent wear this out and about wherever I was going. It's so comfortable. It's so cute. I decided to go with a pair of over the knee boots. If you missed it a few months ago, I tried on a bunch of wide calf boots from Target. Some were hits, some were misses. These are a little tight. I am able to wear them though. And look at how this all came together. Like I'm into this. Sure, it's just like a basic top. There's really not much to it, but it just goes. I don't know. Am I crazy? This is like hella cute. I'm already super glad I did this and we're only on the first look. So I'm excited to see what's to come, but like honestly would rate this 10 out of 10. There's nothing I would change. I decided to stack a couple necklaces. I'll probably end up wearing these for the majority of the video and like tucked it in a little bit. You could also wear it just out. Like if that was more your style, if you were into that, that's super cute as well. I don't know. It's something about the skirt and the shoes combined with the top that's just really giving it to me right now. Like, do I find myself attractive for the first time in a year? Perhaps. Also, it could probably have something to do with the fact that I'm wearing my boyfriend's clothes and like I'm attracted to him. So then subsequently, will like I be attracted to myself as a result? I don't know. 
Either way, I'm into it. Look number two, look number two. What does he wear a lot? Ooh, actually, this would be kind of cool. So this is a Pizza Planet shirt. It's actually from Disneyland. I think they call it a spirit jersey. And this is actually nice and oversized, which I prefer. And I'm kind of feeling this with some bike shorts, like a true Carrie outfit. Carrie circa like 2019 look. I'm thinking this needs to be the focal point. So I've got to find some bike shorts to go with this. So I could do white bike shorts, which I do have a couple pairs of, but I'm also thinking maybe just black with black shoes would look really cute as well. I think I just have to go classic black. Maybe we'll do some Doc Martens or something like that with it. Maybe some like Vans. Vans would be kind of cute with cute socks. Ooh, let's try that. Got some bike shorts back here somewhere. Are these them? Yes. We have secured the bike shorts. Wait, are these? Yes, okay. They are bike shorts. We have secured them. Outfit number two complete. Okay, I don't know how I'm gonna break this to Drew, but this 100% is going to be my Disneyland outfit when we go back someday. This is so adorable. I don't even know why I never thought to wear this to Disneyland, but it is such a moment. I love the oversized nature of the shirt. I wanna say this is like an XL, double XL, something like that, like super oversized. I love it. I really actually love it with the bike shorts, and then I decided to wear some cute little socks. I got these on Amazon like a while ago and they just kind of have a cute little detail that I thought was fun to add with it. Try to add like little feminine pieces whenever I can. I'm attempting to do this clip thing that everyone does. I don't know, let me know what you think. Am I having an age identity crisis? Yes. But I really, really love this. Like so comfortable in this. Would totally wear this not to Disneyland, just like out in life if I was going to like a friend's house. I'm genuinely so surprised with how well this is turning out. It's obviously just clothes. Like clothes to me don't have the gender. It doesn't matter but i think it can like be this mental block you're like how do i make an actual outfit out of this a lot of the pieces are outside of my style or my comfort zone so it's fun to like turn them into my own little twist i'm actually really <laughs> really enjoying this look i look kind of hot i'm not gonna lie so what would i give this overall probably like an 8 out of 10, 9 out of 10. I don't know. There's nothing I would change about it. I think it's adorable. I think it'd be really fun for like a summer night at Disneyland. I'm really into this so far. This is so much fun. Let's try to do more of like a fun button up top because these are just so far out of my comfort zone. I try, but I just like feel like I never successfully do it that well. So maybe we could do like a fun, funky... Like something like this. This would be very out of my comfort zone, but honestly could kind of work. Like I immediately am looking at this and thinking black overalls. Bear with me, it's a vision. I have some overalls back here that are from Madewell. I really should size up in these because they are a little bit tight these days, but honestly, this might kind of be a moment. Okay, that was easy. I am not gonna lie, the buy vibes are palpable in this moment. I kind of like it. This is definitely the most outside my comfort zone of probably any of these looks. It's definitely cute. Like I really actually do like the shirt a lot. Do I prefer it on Drew? Yeah, he wears it like kind of like unbuttoned with a denim jacket over like a black denim jacket with jeans. His looks very cute. This is like, I I'm trying, I'm doing the best I can. And this is like the vision that I had for sure when I pictured it, but I just don't know how perfectly my style it is. The overalls do surprisingly still fit which is great and I do kind of like the look of the sleeves rolled up a little bit with it just kind of I don't know makes it cuter it's just not like a hundred percent my style so for that I'll probably give it like a seven out of ten for wearing something from my boyfriend's closet and making an outfit out of it it's honestly not bad but it wouldn't be the first thing I would grab so I don't know they can't all be hits but this one definitely wasn't a miss either okay I'm really gravitated towards this shirt which okay I don't know if this is cheating because technically I thrifted this. I sort of got it for myself and then I realized it would just be much better suited for Drew. So he wears this all the time, looks so hot in it, but I kind of want to make it work for myself. So I immediately am envisioning like tucked into some black jeans with like some cute sneakers, like just a very nice casual look with some layered necklaces. I feel like that would be a fun answer to like a traditionally sort of masculine or male outfit, but like my spin on it. So yeah, let's see what this looks like. The pair of jeans that I want to wear with it, I actually just wore in another video. So they were on the floor, but they're clean, I promise. So we're gonna pair these two together. And then we have another look. Okay, I don't know if this is cheating because technically I thrifted this for myself and then I gave it to my boyfriend and then I stole it back. But this 
is perfect. I feel like this one and the first look are tied for my two favorites. I'm obsessed with it. I love the way it looks tucked in, how it's like a bit more oversized. And then with the necklaces, I just feel like they complement it so well. I love it with the black jeans. The shoes I tried something different with. They're similar to the last pair that I wore. They're not actual Doc Martens. They're just kind of like fake pleather zip up combat boots. These jeans are a wide leg. I think they're called the skater jean from Wild Fable. I don't believe that Wild Fable sells them anymore, but you can find them like secondhand. And I just love the wide leg. They're so much more comfortable. I'm very, very mobile right now. Last but not least. Okay, what are we going to pick? I'm trying, like there's so many different like variations. He has a ton of these shirts that have like Japanese anime stuff, Dragon Ball Z, Pokemon, like he has a lot of these. But then I'm also thinking he has the Plant Daddy shirt, which is like the iconic. He used to wear this to bed like every night. <laughs> He'd wash it like every other day. He was so obsessed with it. And it's just such an iconic moment for him. So I'm thinking like I could try to find a way to wear this. I genuinely would never, like it's just not my style at all. What if I did this like cow skirt? Wait a second, this cow skirt, right? like a cow skirt, but the shirt's tied up and then a denim jacket over it with some Doc Martens. That might be actually very adorable. Let's see if anything in my head is matching up with what it's really gonna be like. All right, now here we have our final look. I have mixed feelings about it. I don't hate it at all. Like it's a cute outfit, I'd probably wear it. I don't know if it's just that this is green and I'm not entirely sure what to do with that. I don't know if it's the mix of the cow pattern with it. I don't know if it's that I chose these shoes. Like at first I was thinking some combat boots type of style, but then I was like, oh, like these white sneakers, their platform would be really cute with that. So I, I don't know, like I, I like it. I definitely would have worn this a couple years ago. Would I still wear it now? Maybe. I think I've kind of grown out of like the midi skirt thing as sad as that makes me. It doesn't really do it as much for me anymore. I used to have my uniform be like some kind of band tee, some kind of midi skirt, either like white tennis shoes, you know, air forces, what have you, or like combat boots. And that was my look. Overall, I'd probably give it like a seven, seven and a half out of 10. Like it's not perfect, but it's still a very cute outfit. I honestly am going to give myself a little pat on the back because this was a little bit of a challenge, even though sure, it was just shirts. I obviously didn't have a chance to wear bottoms or anything else, but I do think I took five basic tops and kind of turn them into carry outfits so I'm not mad. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did be sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. You can also turn on my post notifications if you want to be notified every time I post a new video. I love you all so much. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in my next one.